God's healing word of life. In this short, powerful Christian devotional, I am sharing with you about God's healing word of life. Moreover, what kinds of words that God has spoken right into the midst of your life. Maybe those words that you don't even know about. If you're curious about what it is that I want to share with you today, go ahead and stay through to the very end of today's video. Powerful devotionals are those that can change your perspective, change your mind, change the atmosphere inside of your home and inside of this home so that you can press into the presence of God because that is where those powerful transformations happen. Today I want to share with you about God's healing word of life. And in life we come into contact with God's word in so many different ways. We come into contact with it in the Bible, of course. That's our number one go-to thing that we think of when we think about God's word, right? His healing word about the scriptures that we reference and that we quote and that we use to counsel people and to encourage people in their faith. And there seems to always be a go-to scripture right on the tip of my tongue that I can share with someone. But no, no, no. Today, I want to talk to you about a different kind of word, about a different kind of healing. You see, my grandmother, Daisy, was a minister. She was an ordained minister. And this book that I have right here was her book. This book has words that she wrote out in her own handwriting. And in this book, I can find encouragement knowing that the ones who have went before me that spoke God's healing word over my life long before I was ever created or ever even thought about, that God, through his healing words written and spoken, through the prophets, through the disciples, through God himself, is still ringing loud and clear today. If you have questioned the place that you find yourself in right now, trust in God's healing word of life that he has brought forth through so many different people. God speaks to you through his word, but also through his people. You see, before I was ever even thought of, I had a praying grandmother, and something tells me that you probably had a praying family member as well, because those that have gone before us laid the foundation for our faith. They were the trailblazers. They were the ones who were giving out and speaking and prophesying this healing word of God way before you and I were ever even thought about. But the amazing thing is this. God's healing words continue to be poured out from generation to generation. You see, I have prayers that my grandmother wrote out in her own handwriting. I have prayers where I can go back and I can read where she was pouring out all she was into her prayer life because she knew to look up to where her help came from. And she was seeking God and she was asking him to save the souls of her children and of her children's children and of her children's children's children. And that, my friend, is me. You see, because my grandmother used the healing words of God to change my life without ever even have met me, she was laying that spiritual foundation. I want to encourage you today to speak healing words of life, God's words, over your children, your children's children, and yes, over your children's children's children because one day they will look back and they will say my great grandma prayed for me my great grandfather prayed for me and maybe you don't have children and that's okay because your legacy is going to be that you prayed for souls all through the generations to come and you are a founding patriarch or matriarch of your faith that you went into war and you battled on your knees in prayer for those that would come after you for provision, for safety, for healing. We have the power to use God's healing 
words of life to build up the generations to come. I pray this video has blessed you. If you are looking to become more intentional in your prayer life, I've created some prayer books, some devotional books. I'll place the link to those in the description box below. If you're praying currently for unsaved loved ones, I just made a devotion type book for unsaved loved ones specifically. You should check it out because God wants to answer our prayers. The enemy wants to make us have that amnesia where we forget that if he's did it before, he can do it again, friend. All right, allow God's healing word of life to minister to you and to know that God, he's got it all under control, not only for you, not only because your grandma and your great grandma or your great grandpa, or maybe it was a neighbor, maybe it was a pastor, prayed for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Stay kingdom-minded in all you do. Don't forget to sign up for my weekly newsletter in the description box below where I send out free principles, devotionals, encouragement, and so much more. I will see you in next week's video.